how to know that God is preparing you for something incredible. Hey my friend, welcome back to my channel, I'm Michael. And in this video, I'm gonna share a few signs with you that will let you know and that have let me know that God is looking out and that incredible things are on the way. Mm, look at these pears, some little ones. <laughs> And I got an apple, pink. So the first and one of the most notable signs, and the reason actually that I wanna share this sign with you is because most of these things seem counterintuitive. So you're probably not looking out for them. They probably seem like the opposite. Number one, you're going through hardships. You're going through troubling, trying times. Things are not going your way. Things are not working out. You are struggling, bro. And that is a great indicator that God has something good in store for you. The tendency for God to put you into seemingly negative circumstances is intelligently designed. It's a mechanism that allows for you to have the stability you need, bro. Here's the thing, right? The incredible things that want to come to you require you to get into the mud. Think about it, right? If you want to have a great life, you want to have incredible things happen to you, like everyone does, you're going to have to have deep roots. You're going to have to be able to withstand the storms that come your way. The thing in life, I don't believe that it gets easier. I think you just get a little better at handling it. So, my friend, God is preparing you through trial and tribulation, through hardship, pain and suffering, and all these things, confusion, feeling lost, not having no apples, because he's preparing you for bamboo growth, my friend. Bamboo growth is what it sounds like. It's the way that bamboo grows. Bamboo might grow for upwards of five years under the ground before it even ever shoots up above the surface. It's just growing roots, maybe meters and, you know, many, many meters deep, many feet, feet deep in every direction for five years. And sometimes bamboo can grow one meter a day. That's like three feet a day. You could watch it grow practically once it starts. And if you have watched my channel, I'm sure you've seen me growing like bamboo growth and it's happening for a lot of you guys or you're getting prepared for it. So take it on, you know, take it on, take it in stride. It does suck, but it's okay. It is part of your ingredients. Number two. The second way to know, baby, baby, that God's looking out for you and preparing you for something incredible. Ooh, a big mushroom. Is that honey? You're alone. <laughs> it's a great sign. Again, sounds counterintuitive, right? Sounds like, ooh, I'm getting worse because less people want to be around me might be true but it could also be true that I'm switching to a pear if there's a good one <laughs> that has a worm God makes you alone sometimes because you know what you need to declutter your psychological psychological sphere you need to decalcify all the things that other people are calcified in and you just can't do that you can't do that without being alone, essentially. It's just the truth of it. And you can't really see yourself or hear yourself without being alone. It's another ingredient that you don't want to take. I get it. I don't either. Sometimes. But, of course, the greatest spurts of growth happen when you're solo. When you're alone. When you're not distracted by a lover or by friends or by the club or whatever your thing is. <laughs> you get the opportunity to actually 
do all the stuff. Here's the thing, right? For so many years, I was like, man, I wanna, I wanna have time to practice guitar and be alone for learning all kinds of cool stuff and research and travel. And you know what? Then it came, and I was like, ooh, ooh, ooh shit, I gotta do it now. I gotta actually do it. And so here it is. So another sign, number two, to know that God is looking out for you and has something incredible prepared for you and is preparing you to be ready for it is that you're alone because you need the time. You need the study time, you need the solitude. You need to know yourself, bro. And get this, right? The Library of Alexandria, the greatest library in ancient history with all of the most incredible texts on incredible literature, mysticism, spirituality, religion, science, mathematics, all the things. What did it say right above the in entrance? There was an inscription, it said, something very particular. Know thyself. Know thyself. Why out of everything in that library was that the thing that they chose to point out before you walked into the room? Because the primary objective of human life, of life itself, is self-knowledge, is to know thyself, thy meaning the highest self, knowing your highest self, knowing how God moves you, knowing how God lives in you, and knowing how to hear God. That is really the only thing you need to figure out on earth, and the rest is sorted, bruh. Basically, look at these pairs. Another sign that God is preparing you for something incredible is that, my friend, old friends, old people, old family members that kind of basically played you, abandoned you, didn't really respect you, they're gonna come back, they're coming out of the woodworks, buddy, and they're here to talk to you, and they don't have nothing to share with you of value or importance, they just want your time and energy. And you know what? It's a sign. The God is preparing you for something incredible. You know why? Because people can feel it. They can feel it from afar. Even if they're not connected to you, if you, even if they don't see your social media, they know, they can feel it. And in my personal journey, I can attest to that. The moment I start getting cooler, the moment old ex hoo-ha whatever has a text message in my inbox, and old people I worked with in the music industry suddenly want to be my friend and all this stuff. It's, oh, suddenly you want to know me now, huh? Oh, it's because you can smell it from a thousand miles away that God is up to something in my freaking life. Right, my friend? It's just the truth of it. And so, if you find yourself in encounters with people that you don't talk to no more, that you don't really know anymore, but they want to know you. It's because they feel the momentum of your life and it's a sign that God is preparing you for something incredible. Number four, the fourth sign that God is preparing you for something incredible is that you have a lot of anxiety and doubt surrounding your purpose, what you're supposed to do in life, what your calling is, what your relationship with this world is. Why the heck are you here? That's probably a big question that you have. Should I crawl through this little hole? I shall. beautiful this area is, right? Oh, there's a little teepee. A little beaver dam. <laughs> Neato. No one's home, yeah? Okay. I do about that. God is preparing you for something incredible. If you find yourself alone, if you find yourself 
doubting and struggling to understand your purpose and your role. If you're really chronically plagued by the thought and the doubt and the confusion about who you are and what you're supposed to be doing, it's a good sign. It's a really good sign because you need that, f that little burn under your butt, buddy. <laughs> you just do. You need that to get yourself up, to get yourself going. If you didn't have it, just think about who you'd be, a, bl a blob. You'd be a gray blob. And it wouldn't mean anything for anyone. So you have to have a little fuel, a little fire to fuel your endeavors. Look at this river, oh my gosh. It's kind of like a postcard, wow. <laughs> when the universe is preparing you for something incredible, you're going to find yourself chronically plagued with what the heck do I do? Who am I? What am I doing? Because, you know why? Because essentially life itself is asking that of you. What are you doing, bro? What are you doing with your time in your life? Why are you here on earth? Don't you remember? And it's cute when you're like 15 and you don't remember, but then when you're like 25 or 35 or 45, life is like, come on, baby boy. Come on, bro. Get it together. Come on, sister. Get it together. <laughs> you got some sleep issues. There you go. If you have some restlessness issues, there you go. If you feel split minded, there you go. God's preparing you for something incredible. If caveat on all of these, if you take up the message, and understand what source is trying to tell you, well then my friend, you might actually do something about it, but you have to do something about it. It's not enough to just, well, God is guiding me. He's gonna guide you to hard work. <laughs> I'm gonna just follow my omens. Yeah, me too, buddy. And you know what God told me? Get a job, <laughs> basically. Get some money right, get your money right, get your time right, get your energy right, go to the gym. You think God doesn't want you to go to the gym? He just wants you to sit on a rock? Come on, buddy. So anyways, my friend, I hope those tips were useful. Useful insights into the nature of some of the signs that God is preparing you for something incredible. Now, let me give you a little bonus insight. What the heck do I mean by something incredible? What is this incredible thing that God might be preparing me for? Well, not only have I seen this in my life, but in people that I work with and people that I've coached and people that I've worked with in the music industry, it seems as though right before they're about to split off into a different parallel frame of reality, a different timeline, you could say, a different way of being, a better way of being, they have all kinds of spiritual tests. And on the other side of that, they get money in the bank, uh, shiny records sent to them, plaques they get a good deal they get a good they get signed by a publisher they get to go travel the world they get a good job that takes them off the grid in the sense that they get to be a digital nomad that shit could happen to you asap guy girl you could have that going on in your life soon life is incredible life is full of opportunity and prosperity and possibility if you're listening <laughs> so my friend Pay attention. Listen a little bit. And you know what? You might just have an awesome, incredible life. Come out of nowhere. You might meet a cool partner. Or you might meet a new business partner. Or you might get some cool design ideas that come to you for your next house or your next project. Or your next entrepreneurial endeavor. Because you don't need to work for nobody, bruh. You shouldn't. You should strive to not be subservient to anyone, except for God. Because God has an incredible plan for you, my homie. Now, pay attention. Listen up. Eat your apples. And have a great day. And get to it. Peace out, my friend. <laughs> Much love. From the side of the river in Colorado.